there's the cabin, not much from the outside. <laughs> But there's a lot of potential. Can you imagine a front porch, some shutters down the road? It could be cute. <laughs> As you can see, the background is a little bit different because I am up at our family cabin. I've recorded some videos from here before. I think I have a few that I've recorded up here. Um, mostly like thrifting and antiquing videos. But basically, just to give you a little history of this place, my aunt built it in the 90s. Right, babe? Okay, my husband said 93. It doesn't matter. Anyways, <laughs> I have a lot of memories coming here as a little girl because um, we only live a few hours away from this cabin. And so it's very sentimental for me. It's sentimental for our family. It's on a beautiful lake, one of the most beautiful lakes in the world, actually. Anyways, <laughs> here's the deal. Okay, my husband and I have four boys. They love fishing, they love camping, they love the woods, they love hiking. And this cabin is like settled um, in the woods. It's just a small two bedroom, one bath cabin. You can see the lake now that the trees are bare from the cabin, it's up on a hill. So my aunt built a cabin and then early 2000s, my aunt Amy, her sister, my dad's sister, unexpectedly passed away. She was only 35 years old. Um, left behind six kids. She she passed shortly after having her sixth baby. My grandparents relocated to South Carolina to help my uncle. My aunt did as well. My aunt who built this cabin. And so really the, the main people that use this cabin are like our family, my siblings who all live in Michigan, and my parents. So Anyways, long story short, I think that my husband and I are ready to maybe slowly start fixing this place up. It's, it's got so much potential and I want to show you guys the layout and then maybe you can weigh in and give me some ideas. My husband and I have some ideas, um, but let me just show you guys around really quick and wait till you guys see this cute little cabin. I think that we could do some really great things here. Also, just FYI, my aunt is totally fine with us making changes. In fact, she was really excited about it. She said um, she was fine with me putting it on my channel, on my blog. So just wanted to throw that out there. She said, as long as it's not all white, <laughs> and that's definitely not my plan. I'm not gonna make this place all white. I have four little boys, it's a cabin. So let me show you around. Okay, so when you walk in the door, this is what you see. Hopefully okay, not. <laughs> it's okay, babe, I'm not filming you. Um, so we've got these like bookcases, which are filled with movies and puzzles and old books, but they're basically just like cinder block and wood, which, you know, I guess is fine, but I'm thinking we could make it cuter. <laughs> Mike's like, not fine. Um, I'm thinking we could make it cuter. We haven't decided yet if we want to do like standalone furniture pieces, but um, yeah, so there used to be a wood stove here and we removed it a couple years ago because it wasn't working, but I think the fireplace is super cool. My husband and I are wondering uh, if we could mount the TV to the stone and move this back a little bit since there's some space back there. But I think there's a lot of potential for this wall. These couches, everything in this cabin is like hand-me-down. So basically like furniture that nobody was using anymore was brought up to the cabin. So this is like my old couch from when I was little that was brought up here. This sectional we grabbed on Facebook Marketplace a few years ago. You can see the lamps are kind of dated. The side tables could totally be replaced. This, oh, I'm gonna trip here. This table is actually super cool. I would totally keep this. It's very rustic. It could definitely go with like the log cabin theme, you know? Not that this is a log cabin, but just like the rustic cabin theme. <laughs> so this is the area that we kind of want to focus on um, first. So you can see how teeny tiny this kitchen is, which is not a huge deal. I mean, I don't know, the bigger our family gets, I feel like it's so hard to, like this is your only storage for food. So if we wanna come up here for a week, there's not a ton of pantry space. Um, these cupboards are very small. This is like apartment size. The stove is very old. The fridge is in decent shape, but we're kind of picturing like an L-shaped kitchen, maybe some upper cabinets, get rid of this wire rack thing. Maybe we could even get the stack cabinetry that we used in our laundry space. 
um, in our basement since it's really pretty and affordable. And then of course, replacing the carpet and maybe having, instead of this table that's kind of like crammed up against this wall, we're kind of leaning towards like an island of some kind. Maybe getting rid of this couch and having an island with stools could be really cool. So this is kind of uh, our plan for the space. <laughs> But we're really excited to maybe make some changes here. And I just thought it would be cool to take you guys along um, and kind of show you the process. Back there, um, this chair clearly needs to go to the thrift store. But back there, you've got two bedrooms, a couple closets, and a nice size bathroom, which needs some updates as well. <laughs> um, there's like a big old jacuzzi tub in there. And we were cleaning out the vanity. That's why there's stuff in the tub. Um, but that could use a little update and these bedrooms back here. My dad built these awesome like queen size bunk beds. So literally the whole family can stay here. Like this tiny little cabin could sleep like two, four, six, eight. Um, the other bedroom, 10, 12, 14 people. <laughs> so it's tight and it's funky, but it could be cute. I think anyways, so that's a little tour of the cabin. So my husband and I are going to go into town, do a little bit of thrifting, and we might even check out some cabinetry um, at Home Depot and just see like what exactly this will cost because obviously we don't want to spend a ton of money. I mean, we love the fact that we can stay here for free, but it would be really nice if it felt a little bit more updated. So you can see we've already been taking measurements and just sort of brainstorming. There's some tricky things we have to work around um but yeah we're excited to tackle this so you guys know me i had to check out some thrift stores while we were there and this restore habitat for humanity was a great option for secondhand appliances we didn't have any luck on this trip but they had some really cool stuff How much is it? 50. Can I see it? Well, oh, that's a pretty one. I love that it's like. Yeah, but you have to measure. This is a 34 inch. I don't know. Oh, right, 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 right. We also stopped at a local antique shop and I fell in love with these old oars. I thought they would look so cool on the wall of the cabin, but I'm holding off on decor right now. I always jump ahead of myself, so. <laughs> Mike said I had to wait until the renovations were complete before I started to decorate. Next up, we decided to stop in at the local Home Depot just to price out cabinets and kind of get an idea of how much this kitchen makeover might be. These are the hickory. We're just looking at these cabinets. Thank you. <laughs> it's okay. So these are the natural hickory. They're actually really pretty. I'm blocked off now. They're working over here, but these are the cabinets we went with for our basement, but we would have to stain or paint these. That's why I'm leaning towards the hickory finish. Hmm, right. Just looking at the laminate. Yeah, look. It's yeah. These pieces here. We were saying that this is a pretty option for a cabin, maybe. Called Drama Marvel. So show the picture of the, the hickory. We like these cabinets. It's called... Camp the Natural Hickory. The Natural Hickory. And I feel like that would look good in a cabin and be very durable. So that's kind of what we're leaning towards. Like this? this yeah. Is, this is solid. So this is the piece we were looking at. What do you guys think? Right here. I feel like it's kind of got like a rustic... Rustic vibe. <laughs> With a natural hickory, it might be really I'm just pretty. To think of what would look good with yeah, cabinets. for sure. 
looking at some flooring options here and i don't know why my eye is just like drawn to this <laughs> i think that is so pretty oh this one isn't that pretty it's that textured uh like what we have in our basement i think our basement is more textured like maybe this one i no, don't know maybe this is too smooth well it don't matter but it's, Ooh, it's not cheap though no it's 76 a box Okay, here you go. 99 cents a square foot. This yeah, one, this one actually has more texture than the other one did. It's much more affordable. So this, is this that? That yeah, That's too yellow. That's pretty. 179, what's this one called? traffic master it doesn't have like the rubber oh you know the layer like yeah like our does. basement see how does. those are layered and they've got probably like rubber right right uh, in, built into it yeah so this is just gonna be a basic hardwood laminate yeah so all right we are on our way back home now so it's just kind of a quick trip to take a look at the cabin take measurements see if this is actually possible we did tons of measuring and math and our brains are a little bit fried. <laughs> we have tried to come up with like a million different options as far as layout for this potential kitchen. If we went with the hickory cabinets, we're looking at about a thousand dollars and like that's the bare minimum like base cabinets only. Mike could build some pretty upper shelves like in our dining room or in our laundry space if we went with unfinished cabinets and stained or painted them ourselves it would be like 600 bucks to do this kitchen that's not including countertops so countertops would be around 500 so i guess we just have to decide <laughs> if we want to spend that money on the cabin which personally we love going to the cabin we're leaning towards doing this, but um, it's just a lot to think about, a lot to consider. So let me show you some layouts that I drew and you guys can weigh in. Okay, so ignore my crude drawings, but here's option number one. Keep the fridge where it is. Maybe do like an upper right above it. Move the sink over slightly. Do a corner Lazy Susan, move the stove to this wall, have the microwave mounted somehow to free up counter space. Here's another look if we were to, if we were to put the microwave directly above the stove, which I, I think I'm kind of liking this better, some type of open shelf situation so this would be if we were to keep the fridge where it is. Now, if we were to move the fridge to this wall, we could, now I'm showing the stove right up against the sink. <laughs> These drawings are wonderful. But we did the math and you could fit a little 12 inch cabinet between the stove and the sink. There would be room for that. Now, we would have to build some sort of half wall, pony wall, whatever it's called, right here because I would not want a stove right in the end like this with little kids running by. So it would look something like this. Either we do like a fully enclosed situation with the microwave floating on top or we build a little half wall. So just some ideas. I'm not sure which way we're gonna go with this, but I think it helps a lot to get it down on paper to kind of visualize it. Anyways, I will keep you guys in the loop, of course, on this renovation. Um, I think it's going to be like a long process. It's one of those things that I don't think it's going to happen quickly. Nothing in our lives ever does because we are so frugal and cheap. And I'm going to be checking out Facebook Marketplace for, you know, new appliances. And a lot of it is just like waiting and being patient and especially finding the time, right, to like to do this type of thing obviously when you have four boys like that factor comes into play and when we go up to the cabin they're gonna want to fish and go to the beach and stuff so anyways 
I'm rambling. I just thought it would be fun to take you guys along on this journey. I'll show you some inspiration photos, like colors that I'm thinking of. Um, but yeah, we're excited. I don't know if Mike is excited. I think he is. <laughs> what do you think? Do you want to weigh in? <laughs> He's not a fan of being on camera. It's okay, I don't blame him. Sometimes I'm shocked that I have a YouTube channel myself. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it's always fun chatting with you guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts. But if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.